so I've had a few requests to explain how to render 21 by 9 footage, so this is just a quick look at what I do to get these videos made. Now before I go any further, this is really only a video for those of you who have no experience with Premiere Pro previously and are looking to get going with the basics of rendering your video at 21 by 9 If you know your way around Premiere Pro already, there is no point in you watching. I'm far from a pro at it. Anyway, for those of you still watching, when you first load up Premiere Pro, you will be greeted with this screen. Here you just want to name this project whatever you want. You can see the previous projects can be selected here if I just wanted to resume editing one of my previous ones. Then the settings in the two tabs here, I just leave alone. Just have a look to see if yours match. I could very easily not be using the best settings, so if anyone has recommendations for better ones then I'm all ears, but this works for me currently. Once done, hit OK, you'll load up into the main screen. Now just select your video, so videos, and drag them into the main screen and do whatever editing you want. This isn't a video on how to edit in Premiere Pro, so I'm not going to explain that stuff. But do whatever you want, and once you're ready to export, go to the top left of the screen and hit File, and then Export, and then Across to Media, and then you get this pop-up. Now, a quick run through of the settings. So you have your file type first, I stick with H.264, then select your preset. Now here I'm just going to leave it at the automatic setting of match source because you can create your own preset to load up each time to save you the next few steps every time you want to render a video. You can see one of my presets at the top of this list called 21 by 9 1440p. But seeing as you won't have any presets to load, we'll then go through all the next steps. Now click the blue text which takes you to browse so you can save your video in whichever file you want and just name it whatever you want. Then click OK. Now make sure export video and audio boxes are ticked, obviously. Then you have a load of tabs which allow you to edit a lot about the video and audio settings and just the general quality of the video. Basically, the ones you need to care about now, and you can fiddle around with the, the rest later, but these are the important ones, are the video settings. So first scroll down in the video tab to bitrate, and make both these sliders 70 to 75. I use about these in my videos. Obviously, the higher the bitrate, the higher the file size, as the quality will be increased. But again, that's only going to be to a certain extent, so I find 70, 75 is the best setting for me. You can see the estimated size at the bottom of the window. Now, I always tick maximum render quality here. Basically, I'm just trying to get the best I can get out of each video. Now, finally, one of the last things to take note of is at the top left of this pop-up, there is a drop-down here with a few options. Scale to fit is what you want to have selected. Each one is very self-explanatory, though, and you can click through them and see the effect each one has on the video in the preview box below. But this option makes sure the video correctly fills the screen, there's no black barring, no stretching, etc. Now, this brings us to the final point, which is the resolution, the aspect ratio of the video. In the video tab, scroll back to the top and you'll see the resolution of your video, but it will be blanked out, so you need to take the boxes to be able to edit them. Now here you can edit the resolution you want to export at. For an example, I've changed my render resolution to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and this would mean that the video will now render with black bars on the top and bottom because it's trying to fit the 21 by 9 video in. Obviously not something you want to do, but you know it gives you an example of what you do. And on the back, on the left, on the drop downs, you can then play around with these drop down settings again. And for example, stretch to fit will make that 21 by 9 video stretch upwards and downwards in order to fit that 16 by 9 box you're now trying to render at. And so that will distort the video. But you get a sense of what you can do with these settings. Basically, make sure it's at the correct 21 by 9 resolution that you want to export at and that there are no black bars in the preview on the left, otherwise you've done one of the settings wrong. <laughs> then you're pretty much good to go and just hit export at the bottom right and it will do everything for you. I have a pop-up here because I've stuck a massive unedited recording in so that won't happen for you. 
But yeah, I hope that helps. I know only the basics, but I knew nothing of Premiere Pro when I first started, so I hope I can help some of you out who are first looking at uh, editing at 21 by 9 or any other aspect ratio. But yeah, for anything else 21 by 9 be sure to check out my channel, and if there is anything else you want to know or have me cover, let me know in the comments. See you later.